Hi, in this video we're going to introduce random numbers. So to make our programs a little more interesting we can use random numbers. But there's a secret. Random numbers from computers aren't actually random. They are pseudo-random, which means they look like they're random numbers and they, they act like they're random numbers, but they're actually coming from an algorithm from the computer. For our purposes, we don't really need to know how the random numbers are being generated. All we need to know is that we can use them. So, for example, one reason we might want to have a random number is to simulate something like rolling a die. So, let's go into our code editor and write some code uh, to make this happen. Okay, so I want to have a variable called roll, and I'll say that that is equal to randomizer dot next int one comma six. So what that's going to do is tell the randomizer to give me a random integer uh, from one to six inclusive. Inclusive means we include the edges. So all the numbers this could be is one, two, three, four, five, or six. Then I'll print line you rolled a plus roll. So if I run this program, we see that I rolled a 4. But if I run it again, well, I also rolled a 4. But then I rolled a 5, a 1, a 3, a 5. So we can use this randomizer to simulate randomness in our programs. Another reason we might want to use random numbers is to simulate something like flipping a coin. And so if we flip a coin, what we would get is something like a true or false value. And we can use the method next boolean which returns us true with probability 0.5 and false with probability 0.5. So let's look at that in our code editor. So here I've written it up. Um, and if I run the program, we see you flipped heads, true, 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 false, 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 true. So you see here we're getting a random true or false value. From the computer. So there's a few ways we can use the randomizer. Um, first is next int, which returns us an integer uh, from the low value to the high value. Uh, and we write randomizer dot next int and then the two numbers that we want it to be between. We could also get a random true or false value using randomizer dot next boolean. We can get a random float, so we can get a random decimal number by using randomizer.nextfloat, or we could get a random color. Uh, so we can use randomizer.nextcolor, so we could set our different shapes uh, to be random colors. So those are the different ways we can use our randomizer, and we'll be using those a lot in our upcoming programs.